Dang. That's what's up. <laughs> The Q-Mini Fix is many things. It's accurate, compact, has a very ergonomic design. It is one of the fastest bolt action rifles you'll ever shoot. It's extremely lightweight. It's innovative. The Mini Fix is all of those things. But maybe more importantly than all of that, or perhaps the sum of all those aspects, is the Mini Fix is just plain fun. The Mini Fix is one of the most enjoyable guns to shoot that I've ever laid hands on. It leaves a smile on everyone's face that got to shoot it while we were reviewing it, and even after running a bunch of rounds through it and shooting it a lot, it is definitely something I'm still excited to get back out to the range. I've talked to many people who say they just don't get the point of a short 300 blackout bolt action pistol and want to know what it's for. The Mini Fix will fill a lot of roles, and there are many things that you can do with it. You can hunt with it on appropriate game at appropriate ranges. It's a great gun to get kids into shooting with light recoil and ultra quiet with a suppressor. You can use it as a precision trainer. It would make a great backpack gun for hiking. You can do a lot of things with the Mini Fix. But more importantly than that, you and everyone you bring to the range will have a great time shooting the Mini Fix. This is the kind of gun that creates firearms enthusiasts, because it's even better and even more fun than it looks. That alone is a great reason to have a gun, because it brings joy to the masses. There's a lot of hype around this gun and everyone wants to know if it lives up to that hype. Well, I'm here to tell you that it does not live up to the hype. It exceeds it. A huge thanks goes out to Shooting Surplus for helping me get my hands on a Q-Mini Fix. And if you're interested in getting your own Q-Mini Fix or anything else Q or just a really a wide variety of awesome stuff that they carry, be sure to sign up for their newsletter. That's where you get to find out about the cool stuff first and when they've got it. This is obviously a bolt action pistol. It has a brace and braces have been under attack lately. I don't know why. Obviously a piece of rubber on the back of a gun does not make it any more lethal. I mean, let's face it, it's terribly obvious that you'd need F-15s and nuclear bombs to take on the government, so I don't understand what is so scary about a bolt action pistol or any other gun with a brace for that matter. The ATF has proposed this crazy new point system slash flow chart to determine if your brace pistol may be an SBR. According to that worksheet, as you see the fix equipped in most of this video, it may be two SBRs. I can't remember if I carried the one or not. Good news is, I got my favorite ATF agent, Dustin Pluth, to help explain it to us. These things are outrageous. At the ATF, we would have none of these. Braces that look like a stock, jail. Braces that fold, jail. Braces that adjust to fit everyone, jail. Too heavy, jail. Too short, jail. Too light, believe it or not, also straight to jail. Has a hand stop to protect your hands, jail. Has sights that flip up, jail. Has no sights, also jail. Straight to jail. Has a magnifier so you can see easier, jail. Bipod, jail. Monopod, jail. Questions? Straight to jail. No questions. Jail. Well, when you explain it like that, it seems pretty simple, but it's actually very complicated. And I don't think you should have to have minored in mathematics to determine if you're in compliance or not. Good news, you can help stop this absurdity. Go comment on the federal registry and let the powers that be know you'd like to keep your rights intact and leave the braces alone. We're doing pretty good on the comments, but the more we can get, the more likely it is that we can keep our rights. So if you haven't yet, go to the Federal Registry, comment, and help us keep our rights. Also, check out good Pro 2A organizations like Firearms Policy Coalition and Gun Owners of America. Unfortunately, we have to stay vigilant and keep fighting the good fight to preserve our 2A lifestyle and rights for future generations. 
Okay, enough with the PSA, let's get back to the Q Mini Fix. The Mini Fix is Q's micro action receiver, meaning it can be chambered in rounds like 300 Blackout, 556, 65 Grendel, or 6mm Arc, which would be amazing by the way. Basically, it's anything that'll fit into an AR-15 chambering and smaller than the regular fix, which is for short action calibers like 308 and 65 Creedmoor, thus the Mini designation. It is very important to note that Q actually shrunk the whole receiver, making it a completely different firearm. They didn't just take some adapter for these smaller rounds to work in their full-size version. The Mini Fix is probably the most enjoyable gun to shoot in my whole collection. Why is that? Well, in my opinion, it is because every single aspect has been extremely well thought out and executed. Along with that is the caliber. While the Mini Fix will eventually have other calibers available, as for right now it's 300 Blackout. The cool thing about 300 Blackout is you get full powder burn in about an 8 inch barrel. That means this isn't some ridiculous cut down 5.56 that will breathe fire and have weird ballistics with short barrel lengths. The barrel on the Mini Fix is actually the size that is intended to be based on the caliber. No loss in performance, no compromise. It's not small and compact for the sake of being small, it is intended to be this size with no sacrifices in performance. Subsonic 300 Blackout is impressively quiet when shot through a silencer, and the Mini Fix further capitalizes on that by being a bolt action. You'd be very hard pressed to find a quieter gun than the Mini Fix, because being a bolt action, it eliminates the sound from the action that semi autos have. One of the greatest features among all the many amazing things that make up the Q Mini Fix is something you can't even see, but the results are plainly evident. The Mini Fix utilizes a 1 in 5 barrel twist that is much faster than most of the twist rates many of the competition uses for 300 Blackout. This means that the rifling inside the barrel makes a complete revolution every 5 inches, as opposed to one revolution in every 8 inches like most everybody else uses. What good is that? Ever play with a top? Spin the top slowly and it falls over rather quickly and looks unstable. Spin the top faster and it remains stable longer, just like heavy subsonic projectiles that are used in 300 Blackout. I've been fortunate enough to shoot a bunch of different 300 blackout barrel twist rates and I can say that the faster twist rate will give you a noticeable and considerable accuracy improvement over say 1 in 8 twist barrels, especially with heavier subsonic projectiles. Not only does the faster 1 in 5 twist rate better stabilize subsonic rounds, adding to the accuracy, but faster twist rate will also help expanding projectiles to open up farther and faster, making them potentially better for hunting. Oh my gosh. It was right next to it. Right next to it. I can't look at just how accurate is the minifix? Well, I mean, we shot it out to a thousand yards with subsonic ammunition. Boom. Got it! <laughs> Golly! <laughs> there you go. 300 blackout, thousand yards. Subsonic. Not too bad for something that's really only intended for hunting inside of 100 yards. There's a whole video on that alone. If you haven't seen it, you should probably check it out. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. It took a long time to get out there. It is also possible to shoot one inch groups at 100 yards, which is no easy feat for 300 blackout. This group here was shot with the Callaway Ballistics 220 grain, subsonic. The Mini Fix isn't just a cute and catchy name. This thing is small and light. Fully extended, the Mini Fix is 27 inches. Folded, it's just over 17. What will really blow your mind is the Mini Fix only weighs four pounds, seven ounces. Now on my scale, I'm getting a little bit more than that, but mine's really dirty and I also have an attachment for the bipod. 
It's always nice starting with a platform that is light because you can customize the package for your own uses. You can either choose accessories that will preserve the lightweight aspect or you can add weight with heavier accessories. It's always easier to add weight but when you start with a heavy platform it's usually about impossible to take any weight away. Let's just say if you had to tote the mini fix on a long stalking hunt or wanted to keep it as a backpack gun on a long hike, you'd barely even notice it's there. The mini fix and the fix may be the fastest bolt action rifles ever created. Q achieves this by utilizing a 45 degree bolt throw. That's about half of what a typical Remington 700 bolt throw is. With half the throw, essentially the speed over a Remington 700's action should be about half. Another key feature to the quickness and smoothness of the Mini Fix action is the fact that the bolt moves on rails very similar to that of a pistol. This makes it far less likely to bind up, keeping it quick and reliable. The action overall is just silky smooth, I would say just as smooth as a premium bolt action rifle. Of course, all of those features wouldn't matter if the trigger wasn't any good, but fear not, the trigger in the fix is phenomenal. It is a very nice two-stage trigger and mine is pulling right at a very crisp three pounds. When I put photos of this gun on Instagram, I hear from a lot of people that this is an amazing AR build. And while the fix may borrow some design cues from the AR, one of the most ergonomic guns of all time, this is a completely unique design. The Fix and Mini Fix have a one-piece receiver that functions both as the receiver and the chassis. This allows you to customize the gun around that receiver. Everything can be swapped out. The barrel, the handguard, the top rail, and the grip. Completely modular. This is a complete departure from most bolt-action rifles, tube design receiver that is literally from the 1800s. When Q decided to step in and fix the bolt action rifle, they started with a monolithic one piece receiver that is narrow yet tall, and this design allows it to be very strong while being very light. And this receiver houses the trigger, bolt, and barrel. On top of adding rigidity while cutting weight, the aluminum receiver allows for greater modularity, and the fix utilizes the proven ergonomics of the AR-15. On the mini fix, you'll find an AR-15 grip, an AR-15 short throw style safety, and a mag release similar to an AR-15. The hinge on the mini fix is extremely easy to use. Just push down at the joint and fold over. It features a dovetail for an extremely tight lockup, extended or collapsed. The Mini Fix also uses standard AR-15 magazine, so there are a plethora of affordable options available. The entire gun can be disassembled with a Torx 25 bit. I love the ease of just needing one tool for the entire gun. There's a free float handguard and a full length top rail for any optics or accessories you could dream up. The barrel is tapered for optimal alignment with tapered suppressors and it comes with a cherry bomb which is a great method of attaching Q suppressors or plan B equipped suppressors. The barrel is quick change so you can swap the barrel out and change the caliber at home without the need of a gunsmith. This makes this an extremely versatile platform. The controls are set up to mimic the AR-15, making it instantly familiar with most people and extremely ergonomic. Of course nothing is perfect. You want to know what is bad about the mini fix? It's expensive and hard to get. If you're serious about getting one, I would make sure I signed up for the Shooting Surplus newsletter because they let those people know first when they have a new shipment coming in. But that is really all I can say bad about the mini fix. As great as all the parts are, this is truly a gun that is greater than the sum of its parts and more enjoyable to shoot than I could possibly convey. I'm fortunate to have many firearms and for just straight up a good time at the range, the mini fix tops my list for that. While it is expensive, it will give you years of enjoyable trips to the range and is the type of gun you can put in virtually anyone's hands and instantly have them excited about shooting. And that is something we definitely need more of. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and a huge thank you goes out to Shooting Surplus for helping me get my hands on a mini fix so I can bring this video to you. If you are looking for anything especially Q related, go check out Shooting Surplus and get on the mailing list so you can find out when the new hot stuff arrives first.
Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and hit the notification bell. We have some big reviews coming up that you won't want to miss. If you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. There you can see what's being reviewed in real time. A huge thanks goes out to Hobbs Island Shooting Range for letting us film a portion of this video at their facility. If you're in Northern Alabama area, you need to go check this place out. It is amazing. If you want to help support the channel, the best possible way to do that is on Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make and every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. There's Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. We should get her YouTube channel. You're a good shot. Golly.